Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to respond to activities and post your portfolio. Let's take a look at the app first. When I'm logged into my account, the first thing I can see is my class story where my teacher has posted a video for me to watch and shared a PDF for me to download and complete as a worksheet. Let's try that first. I'm going to open the PDF and I can save this to my device and use a separate marking up app to actually complete this worksheet. So let's do that real quick. Back in Class Dojo, I'm going to go up to my class where I can see I have seven activities to complete. Those are all listed in my to-do section. These are activities that my teacher has assigned to me. I'm gonna start by completing the matching coins to their names worksheet. I know that my teacher wanted me to upload a picture of the completed worksheet, as well as add a voice note to explain my thinking. I'm also going to add a caption as well. Then I will press the blue button in the top corner to submit that assignment. On top of responding to activities, I can create my own portfolio post by pressing the blue plus sign and selecting a journal entry, a photo, video, or drawing. I've chosen to create a video to show my teacher my thinking, and I'm going to add a caption and upload that to my portfolio. Now let's take a look at what Class Dojo looks like when we're submitting to our portfolio on the web. As you can see on the web, it's really similar to the app. I can add a photo, a video, a drawing, I can journal. I can also attach a file. This is pretty cool and something you definitely want to explore more. On my profile, you'll see that I have a list of to-do. This is for all the classes that I'm in. I'm actually only in one class, so it's showing that for now. I can scroll down and see the video my teacher posted on class story, as well as view anything else that my teacher wanted me to see. By clicking on my class, I can view just that class story. Let's go to my portfolio. Here you will see all of the items that have been assigned to me. I have quite a few to complete. And if you scroll down, you can see a couple of drafts, things I have started but haven't completed or submitted yet. Let's click on one of the activities in my to-do list. You'll see that I was assigned a drawing. The instructions are in the top right and I can use the tools on the side to complete the task. I can also add a caption as well as record a voice note to go along with it, maybe to explain my thinking. All right, I'm pretty happy with what I've done. I'm gonna press that blue button in the top right corner to hand it in. When I scroll down in my portfolio, you'll see there's my post, has a little clock sign and the yellow bar that says waiting for review. That means it's pending, my teacher will approve it and then it will show up in my portfolio feed. And that's it. Whether you are completing an assigned activity or you are creating a new portfolio post, you now know how to upload things to your own personal portfolio. For more helpful videos, articles, and more, check out the help desk at classdojo.zendesk.com.